Welcome to the Law of Attraction Tribe podcast. I'm your host, Stephanie Key. If you're looking to manifest a life you don't need a vacation from, then you came to the right place. I quit my nine to five job to stay home with my kids while building a thriving business. Now as a best-selling author, app creator, and three times podcaster, I am here to teach you how to do the same. If you want to join my inner tribe, head over to the Manifest It Now app. And now let's dive in to the podcast where I'm going to give you my best manifestation hacks and tips so that you can manifest a life full of abundance, freedom, and fulfillment. Hello, welcome back to the Law of Attraction Tribe podcast. I'm your host, Stephanie Keith, and today I want to talk all about the new moon that we have this week. It's actually going to rise February 9th, but with new moons, the new moon energy is present this whole week. So this is a great week for manifesting new beginnings, right? The new moon represents new beginnings, a new cycle. And so this is where it is great to get clear about what you want to call in, what do you want to manifest. And we are also now in the age of Aquarius, which is pretty huge. Like this is a big thing um, that people have been talking about for years. It's finally here. And what that means uh, from everything that I've looked into is that basically this is where power structures are going to start to break down. So the elites and and the people in power that have always kind of had control over the masses, that's going to start to break away as people awaken. So you hear about like the great awakening and all these different phrases that people are using, but it's basically where people are becoming more spiritually enlightened. They're waking up to things that they didn't notice before. They're no longer um, being controlled in a way that people have been controlled for eons. So the last time that this particular um, solar or I guess, um, what do I want to say, cosmic event happened, uh, was around the time of the French Revolution. And that's really kind of what this symbolizes, this like revolution. It's like people taking back power. Um, It involves thinking outside the box. And so this all coincides with um, what I want to talk about today with this new moon, which is you know, thinking outside the box, starting something new, a new venture, a new project. Maybe you've been feeling pulled towards something. Maybe you're ready for a certain chapter in your life to be closed and a new one to open. This is a great time to start taking um, stock of what exactly you want to call in your life. What do you want to keep? What do you want to let go of? and get really crystal clear. So you might be feeling um, a lot of inspiration. You might have a lot of ideas. Um, Write those down. Go with that. Trust it. Whatever's coming through is coming through for a reason. And you hear me talk about intuition a lot, but it is so important now more than ever that we are really becoming acquainted with our intuition and trusting those nudges that we're getting. Because we're getting them for a reason. So if there's something that's constantly coming up for you, if there's somewhere that you're being pulled towards, pay attention to that. Because this could be the universe, your spirit guides, um, God, you know, whatever, whatever you want to use to describe it. It's basically helping you align with the path for your highest good. And so pay attention to that and don't be afraid of it. Like this is the time. This is the time that things are going to change. And I've heard a lot of people talk about how we're moving into this age of technology. So I said earlier about the age of Aquarius being about a revolution. Well, we're we're really experiencing a technological revolution. And I don't think a lot of people really truly understand how much our lives and the world are going to change um, because of AI. And so um, it's not getting enough media coverage uh, as usual, but there's so many implications when it comes to AI. Some are like amazing 
and going to make life so great. And then others are quite terrifying. (laughs) So either way you look at it, there's going to be some major, major changes. And so this is the time where the way that I like to look at it is how can I use these new tools and this technology to my benefit and to make a positive impact and to do the things I want to do. And so obviously, like I talk a lot about using this to create businesses, to create passive income. And now is the best time to do that. I mean, never has there been a time where it's been cheaper and easier to start a business and make money. Um, And it's just going to keep getting cheaper and easier with AI. So if you want to know more about that, you can um, go to, I'll link it in the show notes, the Digital CEO Program. You can also go to the com slash digital CEO. Um, I am doing a lot with AI in that course. Every time a new tool comes out that I'm using, I'm adding it to the course. Um, But it's really going to just change the world and change business. And there's so much abundance. Um, Elon Musk has talked about how this is going to be the abundance revolution. And I think he's right because anyone who's willing to think outside the box and use this to build a business is going to find abundance. Absolutely. It's going to be easier than ever. And that's where you'll see a lot of this breaking down of our old societal structures where people who um, come from nothing, thanks to technology, will have the opportunities that they've never had before for wealth. And so I think that there's just so much changing and there's so much potential and opportunity. So it's a really exciting time. And this is why, you know, it's important to get intentional, to gain clarity on what you really want and to call it in. So I'm going to give you a little um, tip for like what I'm going to do with the new moon, my little ritual for uh, manifesting with the new moon. There's a lot of different ways to go about this and to do this. Um, And I've actually, I am completely updating the Manifest It Now app just based on everyone's feedback to make it super easy to follow, easy to navigate, where there's going to be different sections. So like um, if you want to manifest money, there will be a manifest money section. If you want to manifest love, there will be a manifest love section. And there's also going to be a moon ritual section. And I'm going to publish that first before the other sections. The other sections should be ready. I want to be done with this by next week and I'll roll that out to you guys. I'll send emails. Um, But the new moon, I'll make sure that that is up now. And so you can go in there and there's some rituals in there that you can follow. And there's also an amazing meditation that um, one of our guest speakers did. Gosh, it was last year or the year before around the new moon. And it was an abundance meditation with the new moon. Um, It was by our guest speaker, Rebecca Wellstead-Green, and it is epic. So that's in there. So you can go download the Manifest It Now app, go to the Moon Ritual section, and um, yeah, I'm going to just continually add new rituals. But the one that I'm going to do myself is writing a letter to myself from the future version of myself, okay? So I'm going to look at myself – at the end of this year and where I'm at and I'm going to write a letter to myself now explaining everything that's happened, everything that's manifested, um, all of the things that I've overcome, all of the things I've achieved and just really try to get as clear as possible on my path not just for the month of February but for the rest of the year for what I want to call in and this is a really Um, kind of fun experience and something I love with writing letters is that I'm going to keep this and then at the end of this year go back and read it and see how close I am to all of these things that I wrote about. And I've done this before and it's pretty remarkable. It's pretty spot on um, what manifests when when you do this method. So you could try that. Another fun way to do this is you could record a video Um, where you're like fully embodying the future version of yourself and, um, you know, talk to yourself now about like how 
everything's going to be okay and everything's working out and it's going to get so good, like better than you can imagine. And both of these things are actually really powerful for your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind does not know the difference between reality and fantasy. And so if it sees you on a video or hears your voice or sees your handwriting saying that XYZ has happened, it's going to believe that as true. It's not going to know that you're just, you know, envisioning this. And when your subconscious starts to see evidence of something that's happened or existed, it's going to be less likely to resist it. So a lot of those subconscious, you know, fear-based, negative-based beliefs are going to quiet down when you can do this. And if you do this on a regular basis, the better it is because your subconscious needs that repetition. And so very powerful. Um, I definitely suggest doing these rituals at least every month. Um, And there's so many to do. This is just the one that I picked for this month. So check it out and really start to think in terms of like this is such an exciting time to be alive. Yes, there's so many crazy things going on in the world. But with that also comes a lot of opportunity. And just imagine if everyone in the world did this, if everyone started to get really intentional about what they wanted and started to look at things as opportunities for good, that could have such a tremendous impact. And it all starts with you. And when you do these little things, it's going to shift your reality. It's going to shift your vibration. And that has a ripple effect far beyond what we can possibly fathom. Um, So like a fun little fact, I teach this in Elevate, but quantum entanglement, that actually, they won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2022 for this. And these are things that, you know, we've been talking about forever with the law of attraction, but that now science is catching up. Um, But they've basically proven that there is this thing called quantum entanglement, which means we are all connected there is, instead of it just being empty space like they thought for a long time, like what's right in front of you right now, it's not just empty space, right? It's all made of something. It's like this web that is connecting everything, everyone and everything in the entire universe. One big web of collective energy. And so what that means is we truly are all connected, which I think we've all intuitively known on some level. But what that tells us is that if we're all connected, then everyone is like a piece of the puzzle. Everyone contributes in some way. So every action, every thought, every feeling, every emotion has a ripple effect that's felt throughout the entire universe, which is really cool. And so when you think I'm just one person – Yeah, you're one person that's connected to everyone and everything. And so that's why I say like it all starts with you. And if you could just take a breath and just focus on you, what do you want in this moment? What do you want to call in with this new moon? What do you want in your life? What do you want to see in the world? And you start to get clear on that and intentional and think about what you do want instead of what you don't want, it's going to have an effect far beyond what you can possibly imagine. So even though it might sound a little woo-woo or far-fetched, science is catching on and realizing that there is a lot more than we realize to all of this. So use it to your own advantage and to the advantage of everyone really because when you thrive the whole web of collective consciousness thrives right because we're a piece of that puzzle and so the other thing I want to point out is that this new moon is a super moon so the only reason I'm pointing that out is because typically with super moons I know like I'm uh very what do you call it, very like sensitive to what's happening astrologically. Like I've just, I don't know, I've always been that way. I just finally have realized. (laughs) And with super moons, it can can be a little more intense. So like you could feel 
um, a little more emotional, which I know a lot of times that will coincide with full moons. But even with this new moon, things might feel like really intense and it could be in a good way. Like you're feeling super inspired, super creative, super excited. Um, But there can also be all sorts of emotions that come up. So just kind of like observe that, you know. And when I started doing that, when I started realizing like, huh, every time there is a new moon, I feel a certain way. And every time there's a full moon, I feel a certain way. And I feel a little like things are amplified. Once you start realizing that, you realize that like it's not – you don't feel like you're going crazy. You know what I mean? Like you just, you kind of see that everything is interacting in this web of energy. And once you have awareness of it, you feel like you're empowered, like you have more control over it. So just kind of pay attention to those things and see how you respond. Like what are your emotions and what's your energy like? And just kind of like go with the flow. Don't try to control anything. Just go with the flow and know that you do have control in the sense that no one can control your thoughts and your thoughts are going to lead to your feelings and those thoughts and feelings are going to shift your vibration and your vibration is going to either inspire you to take action or put you in front of a certain opportunity. And so the first step of all of that is getting really clear. So when you're writing everything down, you are, think about it as like you're placing your order with the universe of what you want to call in. You're getting intentional. Instead of running your life on autopilot in zombie mode, you're getting really intentional on what you want. And that is really powerful. And I recommend writing down what you want, putting pen to paper because It is connected to your heart chakra and a lot of people believe, and I certainly do, um, just because I do this all the time, there's something there. Like there is some type of connection to source energy, to your intuition, um, to that state of creative flow. When you write things down, it's different than like just thinking them or typing them or saying them out loud. And it also uses a different neural pathway. So I definitely recommend writing down whatever it is you want to call in. And you could even fold it up and put it in a little envelope, put it away some somewhere safe. And then what I'm going to do is pull it out at the end of the year and read it and see how much manifested that I wrote down. So I hope you guys enjoy that little new moon ritual. Go check out the new moon rituals that I have in the Manifest It Now app. Like I said, next week, you're going to see a whole new app. It's going to be really epic, exciting, lots of good stuff in there, lots of new stuff I'm putting in there. So go check that out, and thanks for tuning in.